Hello everybody, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, today I had an opportunity to uh, show off the one of the top, top uh, industrial sewing machine when it comes to single needle automatic, a Juki DDL-8700. It's the same as DDL-8700, a straight stitch, single needle, but with under two man computer. We're gonna go over, over the machine, the threading, the different type of stuff and um, the difference between this one and a regular one the minus and plus and all that good stuff so this uh, the table are the same as pretty much the table is the same as the juki 8700 the same exact thing um the, the, this one has uh tape measures here you know the one you're getting might not have it but overall 47 inch maybe 40 yeah 47 and a half um 20 inch is the width the bed of the sewing machine is 18 inch and from the foot all the way to the to the neck of the sewing machine is 10 inch uh it will take the same type of bobbins and neither than industrial sewing machines, uh, regular ones. So uh, for instance, uh, let me take the right needle out, DBX1, uh, and you could pretty much do any size, from nine, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Uh, it comes with a bunch of bobbins, regular bobbins, all the high shank industrial sewing machines, feed will fit this machine, uh, the bobbin, the feed dog, the plate, anything interchangeable with all the industrial sewing machines. There is no difference between this or any industrial sewing machine when it comes to the plate, feed dog, feet, and bobbins and stuff. Uh, even though the machine is uh, uh, automatic, you still have the uh, bobbin winder right here. That's the bobbin winder right here, a mechanical bobbin winder. You have your uh reverse handle here stitch length here this is also a uh, reverse right here that you could use on the back here you see that that looks like a cylinder pump this is actually the foot lifter so if you back there stay back there and i'll show you i don't know if you see it from there you see anything like that or maybe you come here I'll show, I'm gonna show the mechanical. Give it to me one second. So here actually this one is the uh, food lifter, electrical. Now there are many out there for factories that are pneumatic, we don't use pneumatic, you see? When I put my feet on the pedal, that pretty much lifts that food lifter and that's what you see. So it's very simple, when you wanna lift, the bobbin, the feet, you just go up, in, and then that's what happens. Okay, so that was automatic food lifter. Uh, oil. Here you have the oil pan right here, and you have the oil pump here, and all of this stuff that are right here is for the uh, food lifter and knee lifter and uh, thread cutter and all that stuff. This is very, very okay. You see this is hanging here. A lot of people call me and say, oh my God, there is a thing hanging. I'm like, don't worry about it. This is supposed to be here. All right. And then you have the is a, a left side bobbin, obviously bobbin. This is a hook, under trim hook. Uh, it is not a regular hook. So if you have an 8700 and you have one of these things, the 8700-7 had a different, um, different uh, hook is the under trim hook and they're expensive and then i'm going to take the regular bobbin 270010 bobbin now bobbin case is the same you have that uh 52237 nbl uh, you see the there is a spring on the bottom so it would perform much better uh, when the bobbin is right there. So the way you do it, take the thread out, 
through this lid and then back here and now this is a very good time to teach you if you wanted to if you're doing your tension and you have a problem with your tension this is the screw that you could adjust the tension the tight or loosen it up when you want to put it back in there just hold it you see it won't even come down just go ahead and put it back in there and lock in right let me see okay very good so uh, oil this is the magnetic uh dice this is the knee lifter right here which is we're not going to use it this is automatic and um uh, everything is the same as the regular 8700 you have underneath here uh, which i'm not going to open up you have two you have a counter uh, knife and a moving knife right down here that cuts the knife they're very popular you could find them two three bucks not a big deal you could find them all over same table motor is servo down there this is the servo motor on and off switch servo motor and uh, led lamp but in a good nick type okay now we're gonna go ahead and show you this as you see there is an on and off switch right here this is if you want the uh the thread cutter and stuff to be off i just keep it on this is a control panel here and i'm going to show you how these things work so when whenever you are start again as i showed you put your feet down foot lifter up let it go, start, and... See, start, back, back tagging, you sew, and then back tagging again. Look at the back, beautiful, perfect. Now, everybody, when they start sewing, you, you have this, and you see I'm going slow, and I could do it, by the pedal, slow or fast, and then cut. And this is also, if you see here, this works very fast. Look at this, this is something that the, when you cut the thread, hold the thread so it won't come out. You see? It, you see? it moved, it's so fast that you don't see. Now, if you wanna get rid of this uh, um, Bag tagging or bag uh, bag tagging we call them very simple you just come here done here done and then here when I sew just go without anything just to start go cut now. When you want to cut the end, when you sew, I'm going to just show you. You sewing, show the pedal, please. I start sewing right here, and I stop and double, and it cuts. Show this right here. So you could have it with the back tagging or without back tagging. Back here. Now, if you want to do, people buy t-shirts or a lot of people need to do tagging only you don't want to sew let's say i have a piece that i want to do something here come here done you see i didn't do anything automatic put my feet down show here first maybe i put this here see done this is just tags and you could obviously adjust the how wide and how from here. So there's two options. This option is to want to start tagging, okay, and sewing. This is only tag, okay, and you could adjust the how much you want the tag to be. But that's how it is. Look, let's say you want to put a uh, size ticket right here, or you have maybe some some stuff you want to do a very tiny sewing. Okay, now, this is a modeling, two or three layers. We also want to try this with the 
Some leather, people call for leather. This is a, by the way, the needles, I told you 16x257, all different sizes, and the thread is T27. Here, look. Beautiful. Look at the stitching. Front, this is a real leather. You wanna smell it? Sure. This one's really good. Oh, this one like leather. <laughs> mm, this is leather. Okay, now I change the stitch. Length. See how nice it sews. Now I'm gonna do double. Now, you might, you know, you could even two. Beautiful stitching on leather, okay? Now I'm gonna do a more heavy canvas. And I done it four layers. By the way, you could always, you could, if you wanna do the, you wanna do free motion, you could do it on this machine, okay? There is a huge booklet on this machine on how to, how to um, control the control panel, the CP18, uh, Look at the back, look at the front. Amazing, right? Amazing stitching. And this is four layers of heavy canvas. I'm gonna make it eight. Here you go. It's just unbelievable the way it cuts the thread, no? You don't have to start cutting yet. Yeah. Can you look at that? Beautiful, look at back, look at the front. There were some threads from the fabric cut up here, but look at that. Now, I got some mesh vinyl. And a lot of people buy this for making bags and stuff from us. Look at that. And these are heavy stuff. And let's see how it's gonna be on this one. Here you go, now. You see the needle, you see that it's going, it's wavy a little bit. Mm -hmm. That has not to, nothing to do with the machine. This is because of the feet. We change the feet to Teflon, or a plate to Teflon, a feed like Teflon, you're not gonna have any problem. The, 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 the matter of the fact is that this is showing the vinyl. But look at all the stuff that we did, and let's try the uh, bar tagging on this one. <coughs> look at that. This is the bar tagging. Now, here you go. It's, it's a very, very good machine. We have on our website, DDL-8700, made in China though. It's made in China, a lot of, just to prove to you that a lot of stuff are now made in China, even from uh, 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 big companies like uh, Juki. Did I try the uh, reverse sewing? No. And then, you see, reverse. Great machine. If you could afford it, this is the best machine to buy, Juki DDR 8700-7. Please let us know if you uh, like the video. Share, like our YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, and let us know what you want us to do next. Thank you for watching.